In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use an iOS device with OBS completely wirelessly. And I mean completely wirelessly. Have a look. Let me just go over here. And it's running in OBS. So I made a streaming for musicians video, and if you have a quick look at it, there's loads of questions about how I plugged in my iPhone. Now my iPhone is plugged into an iMac, and it is trusted by the iMac, and then on OBS it works. However, lots of you have actually commented and said, how can I do this wirelessly? Also, I have a PC, so how do I get that to be trusted as well? So I've been doing a little bit of digging, and I've found an app for you that A, they have a free version, B, they have a paid for version with some pro features, and C, it's incredibly simple. Now this isn't just for iOS devices, this is for Android as well. So any mobile device, you can use this, and it's completely wireless. You can do it wired as well if you want to, but it's a really simple system. You can use this app, which is called Epoch Cam, or is it EPOC Cam? I'm not sure. Epoch Cam turns any iOS device into a Mac or PC webcam. Now they have an Epoch Cam app, which is green and they also have one which is called Epoch Cam HD and that is a paid for app with some extra features. The first one Epoch Cam does have adverts on it but other than that it's completely free and all you need to do is make sure that the devices are all on the same Wi-Fi. What I really like about this is its simplicity so it has how to set itself up but then also how to set it up for PC or Mac. So we're going to jump into the basic version first and then I'll show you the HD version and its features and we're going to jump in to OBS. So this is the normal Epoch cam. It does have an advert at the top and obviously improve, upgrade for improved video quality. We can do things like spin the camera around. There we go. Hi. Really simple. Um, and then also you've got mirroring uh, where you can change the mirroring from one side to the other. Uh, and then on this side, you've got basically what's included in the full version plus the normal setup guides. Everything else, apart from obviously going into settings and how you can set it up, is basically encouraging you to get the HD version. So you can do lots of different things. For example, obviously the audio support, manual focus, dual camera support, high definition video, connection modes you can choose manually as opposed to being automatic and there's a couple more as well okay so i've got my obs system i've got everything plugged in and you can hear that what i'm going to do is i'm now going to set up an epop cam for this and we need to install the drivers let's go and grab them so the great news is that you can turn your phone into a webcam for free it works with all these different systems it also works with obs and we can download them so if you just go get started now we can actually do this in four simple steps. You just connect your computer or phone either to the Wi-Fi network or using the cable that it came with and obviously connecting it to your computer. You need to download and install the computer drivers, whether it's going to be for Mac OS or for Windows 7 or later. So I'm on a Mac, so if I go download Mac OS drivers, I will do that now. So we need to get the Epoch Cam app, so whether you're on iPhone or iPad, and even the iPod Touch, by the way, and also if you're on an Android device, so App Store or Google Play. So I'm just gonna install the drivers. There they are, so let's have a look at the driver and we'll download this and install it. Hi. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, this is my normal scene, this is my uh, iMac computer, you may be very familiar with this now because I've done quite a few tutorials with this kind of screen, this kind of look. So what we'll do is, I'm going to use this scene over here. So I've got a title scene, I've got my main scene which is this camera, and then we're going to use, for this example, my iPad. So I'm going to use the iPad as the extra thing it's not plugged into anything at all it is just on the wi-fi the same wi-fi network of my house that is it and i've set this up already so what i've done is i've actually got the imac camera nice and small down here i've just resized it and i've got the chat here so the chat's there basically and i've resized that as well so i've removed those around a little bit so we're going to add in the epoch cam basically via the ipad so all i need to do is just add a new video capture device now i've done this before to test it but i'm just going to call it epoch cam so i know it's different and i just click ok and because i've installed the drivers i should now see a device option for epoch cam and there it is so if i now say epoch cam 
What it's doing right now is it's looking for the app on the network, and that's why you're getting this little circle. So we've got a couple of options here. Uh, so we can go high or 725.40. Let's just keep it at 720 for now. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, of course, I can resize this however I want, so I can put it wherever I need to. And of course, it's overlaid on the top of everything else. So I'm just going to leave it about there. And I'm just going to drag it down in the order because I want it to be underneath stuff. So let's just do that. Let's have a quick look. Yep, that's fine. Cool. So let's just make that full screen now. Now, it's not showing anything at the moment because the iPad's not showing anything. And then all I need to do is basically just launch the app. So if I launch the app and it's on the same Wi-Fi, I'll just launch the app now. And as it launches, it says connecting and straight away, do you see that? Straight away, excuse the mess by the way, straight away it's done it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around. So there we are, it's working straight away. Really, really easy. Now there's some controls actually on here that you can't see on OBS. So I'm going to switch over to the iPad so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the user interface of Epoch Cam HD. Really simple, on the left-hand side, there is this little eye. If I click that, it gives me setup guide and setup video. And then on the right-hand side, I've got the two arrows that will come around so you will be able to see me. Hi, there we go. And then you've got this section here, which basically changes it from mirrored to not mirrored, which is the two arrows pointing out. So if I tap that again, it will then change it from mirrored to not mirrored. If I turn it back to the main camera, you'll notice there's a little flash and that is the flash. You can see that's working there. Let me just put my hand in front, there we go. And if I turn it around, of course, that goes away. There is no flash there. Next, you have settings, which is the gear icon, and you can see what the bandwidth is, what the connection method is. Uh, I just leave it on automatic. I put it at 720. I don't need anything more than that. And then you've got chroma key, which I'll get to in a second, and chroma cutoff. And yes, you've probably guessed that. If I put this little face with the green on, it's green screening. So what it'll do is it'll start green screening. So let me move the mic out of the way. And it tries to put a green screen around you. And you can change the setting of that. So if you want to, you can say blue or magenta, whatever you need. Um, and then you can change and mess around with the cutoff. So you can actually say, well, actually, I need to cut it off around about so many centimeters. And it tries to figure that out for you. So that's just a couple of extra features. Obviously, on the main screen as well, there is no advert. There's no watermark. And you can do things like use the microphone of the device. So I can actually use this as an audio input source. So say for example, this is over on the other side of the room, but I've got the microphone plugged into it, I could use the microphone for that instead of using the microphone for the computer. Now I've spoken to a couple of people about this app already and they have had a latency issue but it is all down to your Wi-Fi router. Imagine obviously the phone and then obviously it's got to send the signal to your Wi-Fi router and then bring that back down to your PC or your Mac. One nice little tip is if you are streaming and using your mobile device to actually send that information through you could use personal hotspot and it would speed up that process but also at the same time eliminate the router. Just be careful with this of course because if you're streaming through your phone that's a lot of data. Please make make sure you have enough data on your plan. So the question for this video is, what are you using? Are you using the camera that comes with your laptop or your PC? Are you using an external webcam? Are you using the phone plugged in? Or are you using a digital SLR plugged in? Let me know in the comments section below. If you liked the content of this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you want to support me a little bit further, you can do. You can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. All the links are in the description box below. If you like some of the content of these videos and you want to see more of them, then maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well. Click the bell and you'll know when the next video goes live. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing and commenting as well. And we'll see you on the next video. Advert.